everyone, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Christian Adventure Gamer. I am Daniel the Paladin, and you are going to watch us paint some more miniatures for Harry Potter Talisman. So, um, I actually thought I was recording a little bit, so I actually started on the next two miniatures. So let's go down to the table real quick and look at those. So we have Hagrid here, which I'm actually starting to paint his jacket. Painted his hands uh, and his face. Um, but then I realized that the uh, OBS was not recording. So then, I do apologize that you didn't need to see me that. <clears throat> do that, but... Um, it's okay, you haven't missed much. So I painted his belt as well. Um, his umbrella will be like a dusty pink color. Obviously, I'm going to do some other colors. Most of them is going to be brown. He's got some cloth clothes on and stuff like that, right? So I'm going to do his boots, the oil leather as well. Then I have um, uh, Peter Pettigrew here. So I've painted his outfit all black because he's wearing black. Started painting his face and his hands. I'm actually going to end up painting his right hand metal because that's what it was after he cut off his hand. So I'm assuming like this is like in the final stages of of the movie or the books, you know, where uh, everything's coming to a conclusion. So I end up painting his hand metal. Um, but then I also showed off all the miniatures that I that we had completed. I've completed five out of the nine. So the last two that I have not done yet is Harry Potter and Albus Dumbledore. But um, here is the Dark Lord himself. Okay. All in his glory, getting ready to uh, murder somebody with a curse. And then I have... Um, Bellatrix Lestrange, getting ready to uh, torture somebody, because that's what she's into, right? And then we have <clears throat> Lucius Malfoy. Uh, he is such a strong coward that uh, he tries to fool the Dark Lord himself, but is not able to, right? So there he is in his glory. Then we have uh, Professor McGonagall, uh, as she is ready to repel any spells that would be damaging to the students uh, or to the... Um, Headmaster himself. And then we have Draco Malfoy. This young heartthrob likes to take long walks on the beach just so he can poke at dead fish and dead jellyfish. Uh, he likes to fish for live fish, skinny them, skin them, and poke their eyes. Uh, he li also likes to uh, steal his friend's candy and blame it on others as he devours it. Yes, that is Draco himself. So, all right, I'm gonna put these away real quick, and we can start off painting some more. Uh, so we got five out of the nine. I want to get these done by Christmas Eve because that's when I'm giving the gifts. So let's put my visor on. Light is on. Let's get back to it, right? Picture in picture mode. There we go. All right, come on. All right, get back to that oil. I'm gonna do his shoes real quick since they're most likely gonna be leather boots. Since he is a hefty, hefty man working on the grounds. If I get it on his pants, that's going to be okay. I'm not worried about that. Just worried about getting that area. You don't have to be exactly perfect when you are painting because you can always touch up. Just like in life, when you make a mistake, you can work to fix it the best of your ability. All right. So I'm going to use a different brush now. I want something with a little longer bristles to get into. Use armpit and crevices and stuff. So let's use this one. And get some more oil on there. I only have so much time to paint today. I'm going to do my best to try to get as much done with the little time that I have before we go to church. There we go. That's better. Make sure I get into the armpit. Obviously, you can hear my daughter crying a little bit. I 
And before I prime, I, I also wash them with Dawn dish soap. Uh, make sure to get any of the uh, release uh, agent that they put in their molds to help get the miniatures out. You don't want that on your paint because your paint will come off eventually. So you want to take all the steps that you can to make sure that your paint will stick. I, I like using like the leather colors because when you put wash or dry brush on them, they really stand out. When I use wash on him, since he is all mostly brown, his hair is brown, his his jacket is leather. Uh, I'm gonna dry brush it so it looks like you know worn out leather because he's kind of poor, right? I am going to end up using the Seraphim Sepia or one of the other reddish colored glazes. So I haven't figured out yet, but I will once I get there. Looking pretty good there, Hagrid. Right here, my kids talking, just on the other side of the room. And I'll use a different brush to go around his cuffs. Um, Sure, I get his belt. Looks like I'm gonna have to do his belt buckle a metal color, which is fine. I don't think he has a leather vest on, I think it's more of a cloth vest. I'm trying to get underneath his jacket to get the rim of it, you know. I could just lift it black, but I don't want to. So let's find a different brush to get around his cuffs. I got this one here. Touch up his hands. Something I was hoping to prevent, but that's okay. Just a little accident. All right. So let's go back and touch up his hands. Use a smaller brush for that. I think this brush is about dead. It looked okay, but then once I put that paint on it, man, it really frayed. So, get my brush next. Now, brushes only last so long, so if you're going to start painting, expect to be buying multiple brushes. I buy them by the packs now. Because when you're middle of painting, you don't want to run out. There we go. 
Let's do Peter Pettigrew's hair. Now. So he's got kind of a reddish hair. <sighs> I think I can use this orange red. I could also. I have this uh, bright so orange. Look like a more of a natural tone. A little too much there. That's okay though. I prefer Vallejo paints. If I can't touch up his his uh, cuff, for some reason, this paint also shrinks a lot. Which is kind of a nice feature when you do highlights and things like that because it makes it look like it's a cracked <coughs> leather. So, all right, Peter Pettigrew, your hair is going to be colored, sir. So at this point, it's about pushing the paint around his head, his hairline, and things like that. Maybe he's a distant cousin from the Weasleys or something, you know? The cousin that shall not be named. Let's do some touch up on his collar, and that's okay. Not bad, not bad. And I'll probably use some of the same color to do his eyebrows with. So. So now we gotta go for a linen white for Hagrid's shirt. So my wife is getting ready to leave. So that means I gotta end soon. So let's go ahead and hurry up and get his shirt. Pushing the paint into those crevices. I do that to help reduce, like, uh, overlaying on areas I don't want to add that paint to. So, 
that should be a good place to stop for right now. So hopefully you enjoyed this short video. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.